Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel and today we have like this little stash of 1953 Lincoln pennies we're going to look through. This one on top here obviously you can see has the D underneath it. These ones down here have no mint marks at all. Let's see what we can see up here. Ah and there's an S right there. So we have the P, the D and the S in this group and let's just kind of look through them. Let's start with the S. In 1953 the San Francisco Mint made generally circulating coins. In other words, business strikes were made at the S Mint or the San Francisco Mint. And they made a lot of them. They made 181.8 million. There were mint sets and there were uncirculated mint sets in 1953. And here's the weird thing. If you want to get the most collectible one, get the uncirculated mint set. They only made about 15,000 of them and those are worth about $775 now. So you can get an uncirculated mint set from 1953, really only the um, sixth year that they made them. Sold them for $5.46 and now they're worth $775. Now, if you're going to look for the proof set, they made those too, but they made quite a few more. They made 128.8 thousand, sold them for 210, now they're worth about 200. So they're still expensive, but they're nowhere near the $700 of the uncirculated set. This one here is a D for the Denver Mint. And at the Denver Mint in 1953, they made $700.5 million. So you need to remember that there were many years in the 50s and sometimes before then where they made more coins at the Denver Mint than they did at the other mints combined. So between the three of them, they made uh, well over a billion of these coins and they're still plenty of them out there. These ones in this condition right here are probably worth 40 or 50 cents or less. Not really, really expensive. If you can get these in a less beat up condition, and we don't have any of those right here, there's another S here, pretty good shape. And remember this is the um, Victor David Brenner initials on the front. You can see that right down here, the V, the D, and the B. Let's see if we can see it on one of these other ones even a little bit better. Yeah, right down there, the V, the D, the B. Victor David Brenner did the front of these in 1909 and also did the back of these. And on the back it says E Pluribus Unum, one cent, United States of America. And here these, these are ears of, they call them ears of wheat, essentially the grain part of the wheat, which we use to make, you know, bread and stuff made of wheat. If you can get the Philadelphia Mint, Let's see if we can find a Philadelphia here. No mint mark, so that's how we know it's Philadelphia. In, an, in a red MS-67, one of them sold for 14000 in 2014. So these are real expensive coins if they're in really, really good condition. If you can get the San Francisco mint in an MS-67 uh, red, you're going to be talking about three to $4,000 that it sold for in 2014, probably worth more than that now. And then if you can get the Denver Mint in an MS67 red, one of them sold for $7,500 in 2007. Now, if you are trying to um, figure out which ones are the most expensive and which ones are the most rare, uh, it turns out that there isn't any. Uh, PCGS may have seen one MS68, um, but it's really unclear to me that they've evaluated it or it's for sale anywhere. So these coins in an MS67 or maybe 67 plus, those that's about as good as they get, Mint State 67. There aren't many 68s around. One of the things that was interesting about 1953, of course, is that's the first year that Queen Elizabeth was the Queen of England. And so there's a special United Kingdom coin that comes out in 1953. And then here's one from, I just wanted to show you this. This is actually a three pence coin. So you see it says Elizabeth II, Dia Gratia, Regina, FD, Defender of the Face. This is a Mary Gillick portrait. And if we go to the back of this, we can see that it is a three in pence, um, has the crowned portacullis or that gate with the spikes that they drive down. And this coin uh, was made from 1953 on. This one I think is a from the 60s, maybe the last year they made these for general circulation, 1967. The United States did have a three penny coin at one point, but I've never seen one and I'd sure like to get one. Um, so anyways, let's get back to this. So this is the kind of condition a lot of times you'll see these in. 
It's 1953D. You can get one of these for or 10 or 15 cents sometimes if you're really lucky. And this like what right here. Um, you know, it's it's uh, we don't clean them and it's really bad to clean them and they will be absolutely valueless to most collectors if you clean them. But these aren't much better than an, a clean coin when they start getting all this stuff on them. And there's the VDB right there. All right, well, that's all we have today from DC Coin Roll International Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you might have in the comments section.